Please be seated. Veuillez vous asseoir. President. Le président. The court is now in session. Je déclare l'audience ouverte. Today, the trial chamber conducts the key documents presentation hearings concerning the Trump co cooperatives and Grand Tachan Security Center. Ms. Sakalwati, please report the attendance of the parties and other individuals at today's proceedings. The greffier, Mr. President, Monsieur for Président, today's proceedings, all parties to this case are present, sont except, except Mr. Sonaron, the Sonaron, National Co-Counsel, is absent for health reasons. Qui est absent pour des de santé. Mr. Nguyen-Chi is present Monsieur in the holding cell downstairs. He has waived his right to be present in the courtroom. The waiver has been delivered to the greffier. President, thank you, Ms. Sekolbuti. Le président, je vous remercie, Madame Sekolbuti. The chamber now decides on a request la by Noon Chia. The chamber has received a waiver from Noon Chia dated 27 April 2015, which states that due to his health, that is, headache, back pain, he cannot sit or concentrate for long. And in order to effectively participate in future hearings, he requests to waive his right to participate in and be present at the 27 April 2015 hearing. Having seen the medical report of Noon Chi by the duty doctor for the accused at the ECCC dated 27 April 2015, who notes that Noon Chi has Dizziness when he sits for long and recommends that the chamber shall so grant him his request so that he can follow the proceedings remotely from the holding cell downstairs. Based on the above information and pursuant to Rule 815 of the ECCC internal rules, the chamber grants Nuji his request to follow the proceedings remotely from the holding cell downstairs via an audiovisual means. The chamber instructs the heavy unit personnel to link the proceedings to the room downstairs so that he can follow the proceedings. That applies for the whole day. Today, the trial chamber conducts the key document presentation hearings concerning Trump co cooperatives and Grand Tachan Security Center, as informed by an email sent by the senior legal officer of the trial chamber on 7 April 2015. As indicated in the chamber's Memorandum E315-1, dated 17 December 2014, the Chamber has stated that it will continue the practice of presenting key documents as previously impl implemented in case 002-01 in order to provide the parties with an opportunity to present key documents relevant to each trial topic in case 002-02. The key document presentation hearings for the first trial topic in case 002-02 concern Trump Cooperatives and Krang Tachan Security Center. These documents also serve to ensure a greater measure of public accessibility to the documentary aspect of each trial topic. 
sujet abordé. The chamber has directed the parties to La select a limited number of documents, de avoiding the selection of documents which have already been discussed in detail in earlier proceedings. In order to have a smooth key document presentation hearing, the Chamber has instructed the parties to circulate a list of the documents they wish to present to the Chamber and other parties prior to the commencement of the hearings by 22nd April 2015. In addition, outre, the Chamber has also informed the parties that should any party choose not to present key documents or comment on the documents presented by other parties, that party is invited to inform the Chamber by 24 April 2015. On 10 April 2015, the Chamber sent the parties a list of relevant documents which it plans to admit in a forthcoming decision in order to assist the parties in selecting the key documents they wish to present during today's hearing. A revised version of this list Une has been sent to the parties on 24 April, April 2015. The parties have sent their list of key les documents to the Chamber, and the other parties, et, et parties as set by the Chamber, and chambre. none of the parties has informed the Chamber about their intention not to comment on the other parties' uh, documents. During this key Au document presentation de, hearing, the co-prosecutors and the civil party lead co-lawyers will have a total amount of time of one day, journée, with the actual amount of time to be used by each subject to agreement between them. Oui. Next. The noon tier defense and the kills and pawn defense will have half a day for each team to present their key documents. Following the key document presentation by both defense teams, the co-prosecutors and the civil party lead co-lawyers will have half a day to comment in response to both defense teams' documents. At the end of the hearing, both defense teams have half a day to make their final comments to the documents presented by the co-prosecutors and the civil party lead co-lawyers. The Chamber informs the parties once again that the key document presentation hearings are distinct from the document admissibility process. Therefore, the relevant parties should not discuss the admissibility of documents during this hearing because the parties have already been given the opportunity to challenge and object in writing to the documents filed for case. 002/02, and please refer to document E327. The parties should focus on presenting key documents and their respective content related to the facts of Tramco Cooperative and Krantachan Security Center in order to assist the Chamber in assessing the weight of evidence at the conclusion of case. 002-02 hearings. To proceed, the Chamber would now like to give the floor to the co-prosecutors to present your key documents. You may proceed. Thank you, thank you, Mr. President, and good morning, Mr. President, your honors, and good morning, everyone in and around the courtroom. The co-prosecutors will make the key document presentation in relation to the first segment of case 002. And the, the first document I will present today are some excerpts from Ben Kiernan's book entitled The Book Regime which is a document E3-1593, 
And to start with, I will Pour make a presentation on the cooperatives, in particular on the lack of sufficient food and discrimination against the new people. La nourriture qui n'était pas suffisante et la discrimination contre le peuple nouveau. That document describes how Mehmut and Com introduced communal eating in Tramcot district. Ont introduit les as early as de May 1973, but the project failed as people were reduced to eating banana leaves, sugar palm roots, coconuts, and finally weeds, and the people rebelled. And this is on the Khmer page with ERN 0 and in English, 0067-8539, and in French, 0063-8822. The document also shows that in Dans sector document, 13, best people got 13, better rations. And the new people's rice rations ration, depended on how hard they worked. De leur travail, de son travail, and that is on the Khmer uh, document, page 0063-76-39-32, in English, 0067-8585-286 and in French 0063-8930232 In this uh, particular uh, section and allow me to uh, give you uh, some points in relation to the uh, communal eating, which was introduced around April 1976, and children separated from their parents and assigned to mobile work brigades. And another uh, point is that fishing and foraging were said to be attempts to survive individually and were prohibited. That is a, a restriction enforced by militia, la pêche, and the sick people only got half rations. De façon était donc and Des people ate gruel every day, miliciens. and the Par margin ailleurs, of a survival was slim. Des moitiés de rations par rapport aux autres Bodies et les gens from malnutrition. Leur marge de survie était très mince. Il souffrait d'œdème lié à la malnutrition. In relation to the description of a label as à a model cooperative, en tant que cooperative, there was modèle. a division of people into uh, three categories, namely a full rice, Il y avait tout candidate, les droits, and uh, et puis les candidats et les confiés. And new cadres took over Lebo in 1977 and put the three groups into a separate cooperative. Full rice people in Gong One and deportees and candidates in Gong Six, Seven and Eight. Confier les candidats dans les unités six, sept et huit. And that is on pages in Khmer at 0063-7635-239. In English, 0067-8587-288. And in French, 0063-8934-238. And 
Allow me to give you two examples in relation to uh, this uh, J'aimerais à présent vous excerpt. donner deux exemples liés à ces extraits. 1977 to 78 were the first years and people worked incessantly. Pire, car les gens devaient travailler sans cesse. At first, rations comprised a spoon départ, of rice each, but in 1977 to 78, gruel and dracoon soup became the norm. La bouillie, la or the food ration for people. The document also shows that there had been no starvation in 1975-76, but malnutrition took a heavy toll in 1977-78, mostly among city people. But uh, many people starved as well. Et mais également People parmi who les paysans qui were souffraient eux aussi de la faim. Les gens qui se plaignaient étaient 1977 exécutés. C'est en 1977 et également qu'il y a eu le plus d'exécutions. Two full rice peasants from the model cooperative in Trampcourt district de la coopérative corroborate de this general picture confirmer ce tableau ainsi brossé. And what I has uh, said is on the uh, Khmer page at 0063-8011 and English at 0067-8719 and in French at 0063-9222. Now on the uh, topic of a Krang Tachan Security Center, à présent au sujet du centre de sécurité de Krang Tachan. Let's make the following presentation. Uh, Krang Tachan was established Krang -Tachan in 1973, in 1973 and one of its first victims was a Khmer returned from Hanoi. And in 1975, many new people en died here. Beaucoup de personnes sont décédées and that is on the Khmer page at EN 0063-7634 in English at 0067-8587 and in French at 0063-8933234. The description of a Krang Tachan based on interview of Suwan, who was a former Phnom Penh student Savan, deported from Kinivong to Trampo, who was accused of being a Lonnol officer and arrested in March 1978. And this is on the uh, Khmer page at EN 0063-8012. And on the English page at 0067-8719. And on the French page at 0063-9223. And on the relevant pages, I'd like to uh, mention just uh, some examples. examples. For example, uh, despite severe torture, on peut dire, Savan par exemple, refused que, to confess. Infligées, Two others arrested with him, who had served in lui, the Lunol Army, were quickly killed. And after a month of Au detention, mois de détention, he was put to work burying bodies near the prison, des corps près de la prison and buried over 200 bodies in the next two months. Dans les deux mois qui ont suivi. And on one occasion, 60 people were all brought in and killed Une fois, on the spot. 60 persons ont été amenées et exécutées sur place. 
My uh, other topic is about uh, the Khmer Crown. Ben Kiernan describes how ben top Kiernan Communist Party of Kampuchi leaders de de decided in early 1977, 1977 to try to take back Kampuchi Crown and initiated an escalated Kampuchi border Kram attacks leading to irretrievable war with Vietnam. Qui in February 1978, Dassan, who was uh, the most son-in-law, addressed a mass meeting of four communes. That is, for those people from Nyan Yong, Kuk, Samrao, and Trampo uh, communes, and proclaimed that the acute aim of the revolution is to fight and take the territory of a Kampuchi crown. And that that is on the Khmer pages at EN 0063-7907-214 and on the English pages at 0067-8682-83 and on the French pages at 0063-9140-242. Local officials in Tramco proclaimed in late 1978 that if the Vietnamese are all gone, the Khmer remained. And if the Khmer are all gone, the Vietnamese remained. And uh, the source of which was an interview of a Khmer Crown who was kidnapped by the CPK in March 1978 and sent to a Trump district. And this is on the Khmer page at 0063-7915 and on the English page at 0067-8685 and on the French page at 0063-9146. Also, this segment, this section of the book uh, mentions that Khmer and Vietnamese had lived peacefully side by side in Vietnam in 1975. And Tamok wanted large numbers of Khmer crown brought to the Mokote Kampuchi so that there would be more forces to fight Vietnam. And that is on the Khmer pages at 0063-7995-298, on the English pages at 0067-8714-215, and on the French pages at 0063-9211214. The Southwest Zone military forces raided Vietnamese villages in early 1978, kidnapping thousands of Khmer Crown who were brought to the Mokote Kampuchi. And Ben Kiernan writes that ben the Kiernan people who were upper Khmer, namely those Cambodian who had fled the Takao for Vietnam in 1972-74, were screened out and sent to Tramco, while the native Khmer Crown were kept in Kiribu. The next document concerns the treatment of Vietnamese and Khmer Crown. Your Honours, allow me to present the documents Madame in relation juge, to the treatment of uh, uh, Vietnamese and Khmer Crown in Tramcock. Tram First, there are a number of documents that contain references to the deportation of Vietnamese, Vietnamese from Trump. This is the notebook of Trang Ta Chan, E3-2107 at Khmer Eon 0006-8. 
Eon in English, 00290204 and French, Eon 00655724225. This document contains the following notes in relation to the prisoner Duch Sam Huyen. In late 75, when Anka had the Yuan go back to their country, he made demands saying he wanted to go to Vietnam too, since his life is Yuan, and he heard them say that in Vietnam they still had private occupations and still use money, but Anka did not let him go. Another notebook is related to Krang Dachan as well, there is D157.7. This can be found at Khmer Eon 00270859. English Eon can be found at 0086-64-30. And French Eon is 00872804. The record in the record for prisoner in three contains the following discussion of the deportation of Vietnamese from Tramka. In January 1976. Anka rounded up the Yuan Vietnamese people and sent them back to Vietnam. The Yuan came to receive those Vietnamese families at Phnom Den, but they accepted only those of pure ethnic Yuan. They did not take the Chinese Yuan. There were four Chinese Vietnamese families who were not accepted by the Vietnamese at that time. So Anka sent them to Angre village, Prey Ampo commune, Kiribong districts. The next document I will present is E3-2435. Which is A26 of April 1977, letter from Angta Sam commune to the district office requesting instructions on the registration of lists of Cambodian Crown people, especially the commune sought instructions on how to treat mixed my Vietnamese and my Crown families. The letters also stated that any families that were all Vietnamese would be sent to Ankar. The surviving records from Tramka include six examples from different communes of the preparation of lists identifying the Khmer, the Cambodian Crown families living in each commune, as well as those people who were former Lonol soldiers. The first documents are E3-2049 and E3-4082. These two documents together constitute a 30th of April 1977 list that identified 26 Khmer Crown families living in Angtasam commune. The first part of the list, numbers 1 through 8, is in E3 slash 2049, and the second part of the list, numbers 9 through 26, is in E3 slash 4082. This list is dated 30th of April 1977, which is four days after the letter from Ang Sam seeking instruction from the district on the preparation of this list that I just read. 
de mentionner. Your Honor, allow me to Madame note that the far right column for the fourth family on the list, that is number four, records that the husband of that Khmer Crown woman was a lone captain who had been smashed when he first arrived. As for another document, that is E3. Autre document. Slash 2281, it is a report dated 4 of May 1977, titled List of Cambodian Crown People from Tropeang Thom Chung Commune, which identifies 73 Khmer Crown families living in that commune, including their former occupation and the ranks of those who were former military. The next, the next document I would like to document present is E3-4083, and it is at Khmer EON 00068033 and 00068035. EON in English is at 00. 32396672 and uh, French EON is at 00778870274. It is a list from Sri No Ronon commune dated 27 of April 1977. This document identifies uh, 37 families who were Khmer Crown or former Lonol military or officials specifying their rank and those who came from Phnom Penh. Please wait, uh, deputy, National Deputy Co-Prosecutor. You may now proceed, um, Mr. Kope. Um, thank you, Mr. President. Good morning, Your Honours. Um, I'm not quite sure if I should uh, leave my uh, comments or objections to Wednesday when we are allowed to comment on the presentation. However, um, I'm seeking guidance, I suppose, now, because I've been hearing only uh, so far presentation and focus on uh, possible or alleged fate of Kampuchea Kron. And the trial chamber uh, has still not ruled on our request for clarification in respect of the targeting of this specific group. Um, so, uh, I'm not quite sure why the prosecution spends so much time on, on, on this group, uh, because we, we still maintain the position that the targeting is not uh, part of uh, this segment of the trial, not part of this trial at all. Um, so, I suppose I object to this uh, presentation. If you say we should leave it till Wednesday, then it's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll get back to that topic. Uh, at the same time, I'm asking the trial chamber as well uh, when we can expect any ruling on, on this specific issue. Um, so, I suppose I have a, a few comments um, leading to an objection at this stage uh, against this presentation of uh, the prosecution. If I may briefly re respond, Mr. President, um, uh, th this objection is um, totally groundless. Um, whatever the broader issue is that Mr. Cope has raised about um, charges relating to discrimination against the Khmer Krom, uh, the allegations relating to uh, Tramcock and Krang Tachan include in the closing order include, specifically include, the Khmer Krom. They were some of the prisoners who ended up at Tramcock. So whatever the reason for that is part of this case. And that is why there is no, no doubt, absolutely no doubt, this is evidence pertinent to the closing order allegations.
I gave the floor to Judge Claudia Fenn to clarify the point raised by the Mr. Defense Counsel for Nuanchia. You may not proceed, Judge Fenn. The, the first two questions were, well, I would say organizational as to whether the Council should raise this now or on Wednesday. We would generally say that um, where it can wait, uh, do it on Wednesday. General observations like that can wait. As to the issue when the decision will be issued, as, as soon as possible. It's on, our prior, on top of our priority list. Um, and for the time being, and first of all, the Khmer Chrome issue, and I think we have said that before, can be dealt with as in the absence of a decision to the contrary. Um, furthermore, we refer to what the prosecutor has said, the work Merkrom among the prisoners, so it is relevant, even in the absence of such a decision, or should such decision be negative. And thirdly, we have said that in the email we leave wide discretion to the parties on how they wish to focus within the time assigned to them. So I guess that covers most of your questions. President, thank you very much, uh, Judge Fenz. You may now resume your presentation, Mr. Co-Prosecutor Simon Kier. Thank you, Mr. President. I would like to resume my presentation. I will now uh, focus on the document E3-2438. Rather, I would like to focus on E3-4083. This, this, this can be found at Khmer EON 00 and 00 English EON is at uh, 00 9662272 and French Eon is a 00778870274. It is a list from Sri Rono commune dated 27 of April 1977. This document identifies as 37 families who were to my crown or former Lunol military or officials, specifying their rank and those who came from Phnom Penh. In our document, that is document E3-2438, it is a report dated 29 of April 1977, titled List of Cambodia Crown People from Kus Commune. This report identifies 33 Khmer Crown families who live in the Kus commune, including the rank of those who were former Khmer Republic military and whether they were 17 April evacuees. As for document E3-2262, it is a patchwork copy of a list identifying 64 Khmer Crown families living in Popel commune, including their former occupation and the place from where they were, they were evacuated. Your Honours, the chamber is Madame already familiar juge, with the May 1977 report from Popel Commune that refers to 64 Khmer Crown families, comprising 
228 people who had been received in an exchange with Vietnam. This can be found in E3-2048 at Khmer Eon 00079090. English Eon is at 00276563264. French Eon is at 00611660. I know this document again now because it explains where the 64 families in the Popel communities came from. The last example of lists prepared by the commune in Chamka identifying the Khmer Crown people is document E3-2428, which is a list of 54 Khmer Crown families living in some round commune, including the rank of those who were former Khmer Republic soldiers. This document explains what happened to the Khmer Crown people in Sam Rao after this list was prepared. This can be found in document E3-4084 at Khmer Eon 00079083. English Eon is at 00290264. And French Eon can be found at 00795281. This document is dated 13 of May 1977, so it is a week or two weeks after the time period the list of Khmer Crown families had been prepared by the communes. This list also reports to Anka about a new person who had warned a Khmer Crown woman living in Tapen commune that Anka had taken away all the Khmer Crown living in Samrao commune and that Khmer Crown in Tapem would be taken away later on by Anka. And the next document concerns the report of uh, Mr. Hungry Loka. This report concerns the uh, Tramcock district, uh, which uh, was under control of uh, Khmer Crown. This report can be found in document D313-1.2. Point sixteen. If we read the introduction of the report, particularly at Khmer Eon 00739029 and English Eon 00227590 and Trent Eon is 00747-2. And Hungry Loka reports that in Tramcock there was an execution site called Krangdachan. This, this could reflect uh, the situation and the model district of Tramcock. And this is a district to show that uh, other district has to follow the Tramcock district and to show the stance of the district. 
and this district, we can see the field is like a checker field, and it is like a what kills on pawn once. Et il est également dit que c'était là ce que Kyosampan voulait. C'est une sorte de in modèle. Point, in point of the report, Au point 2 du rapport, it is about the, the archive of on Krang aborde Tachan. les archives de Krang Tachan. Notes, biographies and statistics of uh, 477 prisoners. This can be found at my ear on 0073904747246. And English ear is 0021770024. French of, uh, is at French is at zero zero seven four zero zero Mr. Henry Loka states that Monsieur the confession notebook uh, cannot be gathered uh, fully because of the time. Uh, Mr. Henri Loka gives the analysis on the, the 477 prisoners which, which are in the confession notebook. Because Takao is close to Vietnam, Étant donné que Takeo se trouve proche du Vietnam, uh, about 100 uh, people escaped to this country, and uh, it is understood that uh, the Vietnam, the Vietnam, the Vietnam will uh, uh, help uh, to liberate the country. That is why people escape uh, to Vietnam. Some people escape to Thailand, and 13 people escape to Dom Rey Romil Mountain. Some people were from a far away area and they were arrested in Tramcock district when they were on National Road number 3 to Vietnam. This means that 157 people who escaped were arrested by Khmer Rouge. Mr. Henry Loka states also that a large number of victims were the victims by Anka. They came from the same group of people and they were among the former uh, Khmer Republic soldiers. Among the prisoners, among 477 prisoners, some were so some were soldiers. Il est possible d'identifier un certain nombre qui étaient anciens soldats. And one soldat. was identified as Vietnamese, and six others were children. Pour l'une est identifiée comme étant d'origine vietnamienne et six de leurs enfants. If 27 uh, police uh, were added si to the list, uh, 27 anciens policiers. There would be uh, 270, 273 victims. Ayant des liens the avec les people who de were watched on and, and now it is the time uh, for those who had ranks. Anka arrested laborers and workers. Également 19 ouvriers ou and uh, they were the petty bourgeoisie. Parfois, 
And this includes uh, 23 uh, guards and four medics. So they were considered the supporters and those who receive uh, benefits from uh, Pol Pot regime. Moreover, the statistic shows that uh, the regime destroyed uh, their own people, not only uh, at those lines uh, prison, but all across the country. Hungary Loka also writes that uh, 22 were identified as students in a lunar period, and generally these people were young. Twelve of them who were interrogated were under 18 years old, and the youngest was 11 years old. This means that 430 uh, prisoners were those among 477 prisoners. Over 300 were new people and 46 were old people. And among these people, there were Khmer Rouge soldiers as well. There were laborers, workers, and nurses among this group as well. I would like to conclude the presentation on the document now, and uh, may I ask the chamber to give the floor to my colleague. Good morning, uh, Mr. President, Your Honors. Um, the first uh, subject I will cover today um, are documents uh, relating to the purges of Law Nol soldiers and officials in Tramcock District. And I will start with some excerpts from the book written by Meng Tri E called The Chain of Terror, the Khmer Rouge Southwest Zone Security System, which is document E3-2120. As I've mentioned, um, this is in process of being translated, so my sites right now will be uh, just to the English pages. At ERN 00416322, Meng Tri E starts by describing the groups who were considered enemies by the CPK, and he writes, quote, The first was former policemen and soldiers of the Law Nol regime who were considered to be feudalists and capitalists. At ERN 00416327, he writes, quote, During the evacuations, the Khmer Rouge announced that those who had been soldiers, teachers, and officials of the Law Nol regime should gather in one place so they could be sent back and put in their old positions. Instead, they placed the former Law Nol civil and military staff in temporary security centers, mostly pagodas and schools, and later shot them there or in a nearby forest. At ERN 00416332, he wrote, quote, Documents from the Tramcock District Reeducation Center show that almost every subdistrict chief in Tramcock reported to the district committee and center chief about former Law Nol soldiers and their families. End of quote. And shortly, uh, I will turn to 
uh, going through the documents from the various communes. In Mengtree's book at ERN 00416-381-82, he wrote as follows, quote, the majority of those arrested in mid-1975 and 1976 were Lon Nol soldiers and policemen. After 1976, this group expanded to encompass their families and members of the general population. Several of the people interviewed for this study observed the arrests and executions of Lon Nol soldiers and policemen in mid-1975. He then goes on to describe a few sources. Quote, Chin, Bati District Chief, from 1970 to 75, saw lists of prisoners held at the district re-education center. He explained that those on the execution lists were listed by name and duty. He observed that in early 1976, there were many more Lonel soldiers and policemen than those in other categories. In mid-1975, Toy, chief of Kampang Subdistrict, received the district party's plan to seek out, arrest, and send Lon Nol soldiers to the upper echelon. After obtaining their personal histories, Toy ordered the arrest of many and sent reports on them to the Prekabas District Committee. And your honors, I'll note here for the record, as we have heard from witnesses, the chief of Prekabas District was the younger brother of Tamak named Chong. Continuing on the next page in Meng Tri's book, ERN 00416383, Former Popol Subdistrict Cadre Tang stated that in mid-1975, his subdistrict chief organized the village and team chiefs to obtain personal histories of the people in Popol. He explained that in compiling histories, cadres obtained detailed information on names, duties, spouses, children, and occupations. He then quotes uh, what he was told by this cadre from Popol. After the personal histories were done, Chorn sent the reports to the district committee, and after that, those in Popol who had been law and soldiers or policemen began regularly disappearing. End of quote. And at ERN 00416399, he wrote, quote, the majority of those executed in the district re-education centers were soldiers and police of the law and old regime. Tramcock execution lists show that of the 500 killed in 1977 and part of 1978, 252 were Law Nol era soldiers and policemen. End of quote. I will now turn to presenting a number of the surviving records from Tramcock District that relate to the purges of Law Nol soldiers and officials. And I will start with one of the Krang Tachan notebooks. Document E3 document E3 4095. This is a, a Krang Tachan interrogation notebook. It can be dated to mid-1976. That is from around May to July or August. Uh, based on internal references in the document and to references to prisoners 
for whom we have other documents establishing the time of their arrest. Let me give you one example for you to see. Uh, in this notebook, 40E34095 at Khmer ERN 00271114, English 00747274, French 00721246. You will find interrogation notes for two people. Ton Tin, a former drugstore assistant, and Lei Ti, a former Lonel sergeant, both of whom were accused of criticizing the revolution and planning to flee to Thailand. We can date these notes because the Tramcock records uh, also include a, a confession report from Crank the Chan chairman on uh, for these uh, two prisoners based on these very notes. And that is document E34098, E34098 at Khmer 00 27103030331 English 00322114315 and French 00623837338 uh, This is a report uh, from Crank the Chan Chief on uh, regarding the confessions of these same two people Lei Chi and Ton Tin, and it is dated the 4th of August 1976, which tells us the time these confessions were obtained in this notebook. Uh, in the report from On, I would also note that the fate of these two prisoners is shown by a handwritten note in the upper left margin of On's report which states, quote, to be interrogated, then smash. E3-40998 the same notebook uh, is the notebook that also contains the interrogation records of the family of trial witness Mia Soka, who were arrested and taken to Krang in June 1976. For example, the notes for Miyasoka's father, Miyakun, and his brother-in-law, Mompun, are at Khmer 00271098, English 00747250, and French 00721219320. Uh, we've covered these notes already during the testimony, so I will not address them any further in this presentation. This uh, same notebook, uh, Khmer E34095, records the names of at least 105 people who were arrested, detained, and interrogated at Krang Of the 105 prisoners, whose names appear in this book, uh, well over half, a total of 62, were former law and officers, soldiers, officials, police, or relatives or persons connected to the law and regime. In some of the records, there are specific notes in regards to relatives of law and officials or soldiers that their relative had already been smashed, smashed by Ankar. For example, if you look at Tach Saren. And to be more specific, uh, the breakdown of the 105 prisoners in this document consists of the following. 23 law and law officers or officials at or above the rank of warrant officer, adjutant including seven lieutenants, two captains, five major lieutenants, 
five warrant officers, one lieutenant un colonel, colonel, one colonel, un colonel, and a former district chief. Un ancien, un ancien chef de district. There are 30 other Law Null soldiers who appear in this Krang Tachan book, mostly non-commissioned officers, carnet, meaning sergeants and corporals, et as well as former policemen. Nine of the prisoners in this list are relatives or persons who were connected to or supported the Law Null regime. Of the remaining prisoners, uh, 17 were new people, including a number of teachers. There were two Khmer Krom. Ten were purged party cadres, uh, six of whom were all from uh, one unit that had been purged. Seven of the people in this notebook uh, were part of the group of Sri Kru villagers who were arrested uh, following the vote to remove that village chief. This includes uh, Miyasoka's family. And there are seven other base people arrested for various reasons. President, the time is convenient Merci. for a short break. Je pense est temps à de faire une pause. We take a break now and resume at 10:30. The court is now in recess.